Okay, here we go. So I am going to plug this guy in for the first time. And this is how I would go about setting up pretty much anything. All right, we have connection. I'm gonna connect. All right, so we got Baby Hulk R set up there. So that's for the OSD. Uh, we can see here we're running 3.2.2, so that's good. It's an Omniboard Baby Hulk R. All right, so the setup should be good. Configuration, let's see what the ports. All right, we just got our serial receiver connected. Uh, D-Shot 600, 4.4, four. there's our craft name. It's already set up for S-Bus. Air mode, OSD, and gravity. Now this is supposed to be like completely set up and ready to go. Now, I'm just looking at the quad. It doesn't look like the receiver is on, so we're gonna have to use a battery and all to try to bind that sucker. Uh, let's see, power and battery, all right, that's all good. Scale, PID tuning. Now look, I can see there, they did change the rate here. Everything else looks kind of stock, but they did add some rate. I might have to raise these super rates a little bit for myself. They did change this, this has been changed. Definitely gonna have to add some anti-gravity here. They turned it on, but they didn't put a value in there. As far as I know, uh, anti-gravity is almost pretty much inactive at one. So I usually just punch in a five there. All right, everything looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the filter settings. All right, we're already enabled there. I would do that. Pretty much all the basics are good. Let me check the modes. All right, we got arm on aux one. I don't need horizons. So we can get rid of that. Angle on aux two would be here for me. Beeper would be on aux two there in that location. Um. See where's air mode? Air mode. Air mode. Did I miss it? Angle, horizon, head free, beeper. I usually put OSD disable on th three in the middle. Flip over after crash is going to go on three. This is going to go down here. Where is air mode? Am I missing something? Head free, horizon, angle, arm. Did they take that out of here? All right, let's save that. Let's go back to configuration. They must have checked air mode always on, which I don't typically like to use. Yeah, I don't enable air mode all the time it's just the way i've gotten used to setting up my controller and that's how i you know i just know how my controller set up so i know i like to have angle at the top this way if i get in trouble or whatever i just like to have that mode there just in case for whatever reason all right so let's do that and i also want to turn off the barometer all in all it's set up pretty well especially with these micros you know angle if you're gonna fly this around in the house a little bit or somewhere indoors, you might wanna mess with angle. All right, so we saved that. Let's go back to modes. Oh, we're gonna disconnect. Connect. All right, let's go back to modes. Now we should have air mode. I put that on aux two. Aux 2, right there. All right, so that is how I set up everything. All right, now let's disconnect. All right, now we're gonna try to arm this, or uh, bind this little guy. So we should be good. All right, back in a second. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try to bind this guy. Now I went ahead and I took the uh, two screws out down here, okay? So the bind button was is right here and it was kind of hard to reach. I tried to do it with a screwdriver, but it just kind of didn't work. So you just take out these two screws, loosen up your camera screws, and this flips open like a, like a hood. 
So that was kind of easy, nice and simple. Now I've got my, I've got uh, a power supply here, so it's giving me a uh, 3S voltage. So I'm gonna hit this bind button. We're gonna bind here, bind. I'm gonna push this button. All right, and I'm gonna turn the power on. All right, there we go, we got green. So that's a good sign there. So I should be able to stop the bind. Was it meant to do that? Angle. Now we just unplug and replug. We should get green. There we go. Sorry, you didn't see that, but we got green. Manual. Was it meant to do and now that? we are Angle. connected. Ignition active. Ignition off. Ignition active. I'm just checking motor direction. We're all good. Manual. Manual. Angle. Ignition. All right, off. we are good. So now we got that. I will unplug. So now we should be good. All right, now we're down to the Baby Hulk R. We are bound in D8 mode. Uh, let me button this guy up, and then we will get back to Beta Flight and check our endpoints and all, and make sure we're good to go with that. Okay, so I came back into Beta Flight to check my trim and my endpoints. Now, I had to fix a few things because I copied a model from one of my other models that needed some fixing, so then some of the numbers were off. Down here on your throttle, this is the first issue I noticed. If you set your endpoint at exactly a thousand, and you got stick low threshold here exactly a thousand, it's going to just beep at you when you go to arm. Ignition. All right, so ignition off. Same beep like if you have your throttle up a little. Ignition active. See how it ignition beeps like that. Off. So if this says a thousand and that says a thousand, it's just going to keep beeping at you. So I just set it to nine 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 nine. Ignition active. Ignition and now we get the arm. Off. So we're good with that. I got everything set up. Um, I believe good. Let's just check OSD. It's the last thing I didn't mess with. So they already have RSSI on here, which is cool. All right, so this is set up pretty good. Um, I just like to use, I like to keep my time down here. All right, we're going to put this. I like to keep my name up here. I keep my time over here. My voltage over here. And I keep my RSSI there. And I like to do uh, current draw. And I'm going to put that right in the middle. Uh, I'm going to turn off the crosshair. So they got RSSI set up already through the receiver. Uh, let's see what else. I like disarmed. Just so I know when I'm disarmed. Armed, put that there, and the last thing is my um, mode, fly mode. Where is that? Where are you? Fly mode, fly mode. Where did you go? Well, I don't know where it is. Where are you, fly mode? Huh. Must be hidden up in there someplace. Well, looks like we're not going to get fly mode. Because I don't know where it is. Alright, not a big deal. Alright, so that's the way I like that. So we're going to hit save. Alright, I'm usually on NTSC. We're going to hit save. All right, so that's all that stuff set up. Let's take a look at the VTX and suit this thing up, get ready to go. All right, so now let's take a look at the uh, VTX. Now I can tell you right now, I was just playing with it, trying to get to the right channel. My first complaint, you know, and it's not a major one, but the, this button system is a pain in the ass. It, it's not, the, it's kind of a pain, but I'll get in here real quick and we'll show you how this works. All right, you can see right here, uh, there we go, we're right up. So we got all of our good stuff up here. If I move my controller around, put it behind me, you can see RSSI moving. 
got voltage. So we got some amps are moving. All right. Nah, I don't think that scales very. That's not correct because that says 17. And it has and it didn't really move. So we're gonna have to mess with that. Probably calibrate that. Fly time and our voltage and our name up here at the top our SSI. So we're all good with that. Kind of sucks that I couldn't find. Um, I couldn't find the fly mode on there, but all in all, it looks pretty good so far. Take a look over my shoulder. Get some kind of distance there. Look at my crappy basement. All right, so camera looks good. Let's get into this VTX real quick. So the button for the VTX is right there. And you can access it from here, obviously. Now, it has a sub menu, so you got your display here. Right now it's on E4, and then, uh, you know, then it has this little dot right here. That's gonna show you your high and your low. So if there's no dot, you're on low, which is 25, excuse me, 25, and then dot is high, which is 200 milliwatts. So you're gonna hold this guy for five seconds. And let go, and now, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I had problems, I'm just saying, I had problems getting this into the menu. So you gotta get into the menu first. All right, so I just held it, now we're in the menu. That's band, two second press, that's channel, and that's power. So now when you select what you want to select, so let's go to power, two second press, or five second press, now we got H and L. So I want to leave it on H, all right? Now we got to do a five second press to back up a, back up a step. All right, now we got power. So we're gonna do a short press, band. Five second press, now we're in the band selector. F, H, A, B, E. All right, we want that. So five second press to back ourselves up. Channel, same thing. Five second press will get you in. Now you can change your channel. Once you select your channel, five second press to back yourself up. Another five second press, that backs you out of the menu. So, not that it's hard, but it's kind of, it's different than all the rest of them. It's just kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, whatever. Find your channel, you're good to go. So, that's that. Let's, uh, let me move this guy out of the way. Let me unplug this first so we don't burn anything out. Let's move the screen out of the way. Unplug that. Let's attach some props. Now, I was looking through this thing here and I was noticing that there's some a couple different length screws in here. So you gotta make sure you get the shorter ones, the shorter silver ones look like to be the prop screws. So let's dump this guy out. So you got some extra screws. You know, these long ones are for probably for, you know, for the frame screws. So you wanna make sure you get these shorter ones. And you just check that by sticking it in here. You know, that's enough threading there. So uh, we got standard beta flight configuration here. So we're gonna to wanna to go in. All right, you are nowhere near the hole. So what the hell is going on here? All right. So, it's got two wider holes and two narrow holes. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's get this one. There's one. All right, so you can see here, we got, there's two wider holes and two closer holes. So these props are gonna line up with these closer holes, not these wider ones, so that's fine there. All right, so I'll attach all four props here and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I got all the props on. I got everything sprayed out here. Uh, this is all the stuff that came in the package. The one other thing I meant to show you was um, right here. Here's your little OSD configurer uh, where you would plug your controller in if you need to figure any of the settings on the Fox here. The other thing I just remembered is I didn't tighten these screws back up. Let's do that while I remembered, because that's important. I don't want to lose the camera and the shell. All right, now, 
Let's get the all up weight. Without battery. Dry weight, 88.9 grams. So pretty good overall. Um, here's another little, this is a four millimeter bottom plate uh, with an all-in-one camera. This one is just about the same weight, right? And this is a three inch, these run three inch props, not the two inch props, but this is only 5,400 KV. So this one should be way faster. Now, I've been hearing that people are getting pretty short uh, flight times. So I got three different batteries I'm gonna try here. And then I got some heavy, I got a heavy and some, some 450s and 650s. Uh, this is a 450 TET too. Now I'm hearing people getting like a two minute flight time or a minute and a half flight time with these 450s. So we're gonna try that. That puts us at 128, 129 grams. I got these 650 higher Cs. Now these, I mean, for the size difference, you're getting 200 more milliamp. I mean, this is, I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be the ticket. And whatever, whatever one I like, I'm gonna get some more of. So that puts us at 144 grams all up. And then I got these super heavy, ridiculous China Hobby Line 650s. Freaking batteries are huge. At 157, so that's still not that bad. Uh, you know, this is a freaking 70 gram battery. So, you know, there we go. I mean, that's pretty much it. We are completely set up and now I'm ready to fly this sucker. So, review will be coming on the Avan 2 inch prop um, on this quad as a whole and uh, unboxing is up already uh this is the first you know setup for the bind and fly version i've got a lot of reviews coming i know i haven't put up a lot of videos lately but um i've got the maytech mini coming i got a cadix micro turbo camera coming uh, i'm working on this little thing here That's what those parts are coming for this is an hk RC, whatever, HAK, hack, whatever the heck, RC 4 in 1 uh, with the Maytech F4 or 5 Mini. Uh, let's see, what else do I got coming? I still got the review of the Predator coming, the Bardwell board coming. It's just been really, really cold, and I haven't been doing a whole hell of a lot of. I haven't flown any large drones, and I've been flying these pretty much right now. So that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, oh yeah, I got Sunny Sky 1106 6500 KV motors coming too, so that's another thing. Sorry, I just want to throw them in. All right, that's enough rambling for me today. I know you probably get tired of listening to me. People probably don't even like to listen to me, but hey, whatever the case, here we go. Enjoy it. Review will be out soon. I can't wait to go fly this bad boy. I'm going out into 19 degrees. 19 degree weather outside right now. I'm going out there and I'm going to fly this sucker, so that's that. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.